Hi Virgo, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I am doing really well, except the strap seems to be all messed up. And you're going, wait, you're doing well when you got this? Well, okay, first of all, let me tell you, this is the, I'm stopping here. This is the reading for March 29th through April 4th, 2021. So this past week, I went to Mexico with my fam and some extended fam, which are like friends that have become family because they've been in my life so long. Secondly, I fell on the floor and hit my face, obviously. And I've got a few other bruises here and there, like my hand and a shoulder and, you know, whatever. I feel so blessed that I'm not hurt outside of this, but I mean, I'm not hurt, hurt. I feel really blessed. My, um, for a while, my vision was a little off. Actually, if I look at my eyes, they're still not quite the same. Huh. Oh, maybe. I don't know. So, sorry, I had to look. But anyway, I feel really blessed. And I had a great, great time with these people in my life. And I had some time for self-reflection. So, this card is about the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, in this case, is a nurturing woman. But I think she... Is, re is representing you. And it could be a woman, a man. I just think it's that feminine energy of nurturing. And what this card is saying is that you're taking care of other people instead of yourself. You're so busy taking care of others that you've lost you. And you're like, yeah, that sounds about right. Because when we are empathetic and want to take care of people, we lose ourselves sometimes. And we have to stop and look and reevaluate and realize that we have as much importance as they do. Secondly, we have the Seven of Cups. This card is saying that you need to stop and evaluate your position. It's kind of a castles in the air, reveries, trying to figure out. Oh, it's the Eight of Cups. Sorry. But basically, this card is trying to help you figure out where you're going. And you're running off, but you're leaving your cups behind. And maybe you need them. So you need to evaluate everything that's going on in your life and decide what's serving you. And because sometimes that nurturing is good, but sometimes we've got to push our birds out of the nest. Because if we don't push them out of the nest, they're not going to go to take care of themselves. And that's more important. Because we don't want to have to nurture them forever. We want to push them out of the nest so we can help some other people, right? Now we get the Ten of Pentacles. And this card is about usually financial success. But I think in this case, well, I do think in this case there might be some financial success. But I think more than anything that this is saying that if you do these other things, that your life is going to come together and be so much better and so much more successful because you're not going to be struggling with things that you don't need to do. And because it's like a cup. This is a cup. Right now it's empty because I drank it all. It was water, by the way. But if you give it all away then it's empty. You got to fill it back up. And you can't fill it back up if you just keep giving it away. But it doesn't have the value when it's empty because you can't really nurture in the same way. You can't really give to people in the same way if you have nothing left to give. And right now, you get the Seven of Wands. Turn it over. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And the Seven of Wands says that You've been struggling for everything. Everything seems like a struggle. And that's because you're not nurturing yourself. You're nurturing the world. So you're like fighting everybody off. Like, get off my thing. But you're just not getting taken care of you. So what it is saying is you have to take some time to be a hermit. Turn it over. You have to take time to fill your spiritual cup and your emotional cup. And that could be my meditation, by grounding, by taking a hike. It, it could be a lot of different things. 
ultimately, I'm now I'm going to pull a card from the Earth Magic Oracle deck. And this card is Mountain Strength. You've been feeling like you have so much strength that you can do it all. You're carrying the weight of the world upon your shoulders. But you can't do it all alone. You can't carry the weight of the world upon your shoulders all alone. Also, it says the Green Man Synergy. That means you need to bring everything into balance. Synergy is kind of like that yin and yang, that balance. It's got it's got to be balanced, sorry, for lack of a better word. And this also says that you need to release things. And that's what we've been talking about, that release. You need to let go of things that are no longer serving you. You need to let go of taking care of everybody but you. Because if not, your cup is going to be empty. And you're not going to do anyone any good if your cup is empty. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel.